Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of West of Loathing! Now this is going to be a short video, shorter video to get today, because uh, we've got a new game coming out tomorrow. Warhammer 2, and I've got to be prepping for that, there's a lot of work to do, but that's not going to stop us from having some Wild West shenanigans. So we just now got the, uh, wait, what is this? What do you say about this guy? The remains of your triumph over the crazy rock pile guy. So, we did just beat the beat, the rock on. We used our magic pointer finger and shot him into oblivion, but I still count it as a victory. Let's go ahead and let's see. We need to progress the story on. I know we got the circus with the demon clowns, and that's gonna be cool, but we have to come back. Another thing we have to come back for, we have to come back anyways, because there was a thing. Where is it? Anyways, there's one of these things, the old millery, I think, or somewhere. Oh yeah, okay, one more thing. We'll stock up on supplies before we go, but there is a place that uh, it had an enemy way too powerful powerful for us. So we need to come back to this side anyways. Wait, what's up, whoever you are? Shopkeep. A woman behind the counter stares at you with a huge grin on your face. She gestures at the goods for sale. Take a look! Alright, let's see. We can sell these. Yeah, just sell it. I remember that. Modern safes. Oh, we need to keep that, for sure. We haven't learned it yet. We've got an extra pickaxe. So we can sell that, unless they break, and the varmint's getting naive. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I think that's pretty much She's got a bean crafting, but obviously we gotta grab some of that too. Does the drinking and eating for 1500 I'll have the money. Can of oil seems important. We've already used ours, so we definitely need to grab one of those. Do we have a hammer? Provides the option to hammer things in certain places, particularly if you have nails. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We have to come back to her. She is super important. We're gonna go and take a needle. And that's about it. Alright, thank you for your stuff. She's got tools. Well, remember that. Well, she's got tools. And the last thing we're gonna do is go ahead and meet our goblin friend that went to Dirtwater. And then we're gonna progress the story! Uh, your El Vibrito transponder starts making the beeping noise. It means treasure or monsters nearby. Turns out to be a monster. Nuts. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to notice you. Well, we're gonna kill it anyways! Got the jump on it this time. Well, as usual, we always need to cast our protection spell. We always need to get our bean golem. I also noticed in the last video I kept calling it the bean goblin. It's a bean golem. So there we go. And then Hajduke in it in the face with our bean magic thing. Bam. Oh. I'll remember that that was unnecessary. Some scraps. Okay, cool. Another thing that we need. Uh, hold on. Oh, yes, bean crafting. Yes, give. Uh, as a list of meditations, give the old bean a skill that increases your mis mysticality during a fight. That's nice, because that allows us to deal more damage. Uncanny presence, a perk that boos, uh, boosts resistance against elemental damages. That's really nice. Or bean wall, a spell that creates a wall of beans that provides cover from ranged attacks. Ooh, that's really good. Um, probably the old bean. As long as it doesn't end our turn, we can significantly boost our power. Increase mysticality by only by five? That's not a lot. How much does it take to level up? Lava Fava. How much does this give? Another. Ooh, increases damage 30%. That's nice. Uh, Great Northern Blizzard, Green Skull, the Old Bean. Okay, it's five each time. Oh, it's super cheap to upgrade too. Oh yeah, we got plus 15 min, uh, mysticality. That's 15 spell damage by itself. And let's go ahead and grab an extra Vine Power Kyodal, and maybe some more actual just Mr. Kelly, because our actual- we're really heavily leaning on stats right now. Where's your goblin friend? Goblin friend, where are you? Where's goblin friend? I guess he's not here. Maybe he's in the saloon. No, there's no way he's this far out. I feel like these are all, like, people we can send here, right? Like, that's the- that's the gist of that. Oh, do we have any mail as well? Uh, no mail. Hmm, that's too bad. What about... Are you in here? Nope, you're not in here. Then I bet you're in the saloon. Goblin friend! You and I have speaks, have words. Well, I gotta figure out what you're doing here. If you're even here. He said he was gonna head to dirt water, right? I'm not crazy, am I? I'm not, I might be crazy. Are you, like, on the stage? Because no one was in there before. No? I'm so confused. So confused. Poker room... Let's go into our room. Oh, I clicked off the screen again. I do that a lot, I feel like. I try to move the mouse off screen, so that way you guys don't have to deal with it. But, uh, no, not here either. I don't know where Goblin Friend is. If you know, tell me in the comment section. 
All right, but we gotta progress the storyline. It's time. All right, it's time to move along. Manifest this destiny. The Great Garbanzo's Hideout. Uh, hold on, you orient your mind. Wait, hold on. As you're riding along the dusty desert trail, you feel a change in the air. The area is thick with mystical bean energy. You orient your mind along the axis of the powerful magnetic bean field and follow it to a cave. The sign up front reads the Great Garbanzo's Secret Hideout. Fellow bean wizards, welcome! I'm a bean wizard, so let's check it out right now! Bean wizardry going on right now. Oh, you've got something to say. What's up? You know, we're right about in the middle of a territory back when the cows came home. This about right here is where the reports came out. Like, Ground Zero? Yeah, there's a big ranch that was the first one to go. Seems like an obvious place to check out. Hellstorm Ranch. Okay. Okay. Alright. We'll go to Hellstorm Ranch, but we gotta, we gotta meet up with our mystical bean brethren. Okay. Sign says keep out unless you're the Great Garbanzo. Well, I might... Is that a title? I might become the Great Garbanzo. Most of these books are too fragile to touch, but there's one that looks in decent shape. Beans Illustrated. What does it mean? Uh, this is crumbling old tomb of bean recipes and journal cookingware tips. It teaches you how to cook advanced bean dishes and make bean iron cookware. I don't know what this means. Let's read it. Oh, a cooking mastery. What does this mean? Your cooking skills have boiled over and splattered all over the sublime. Okay. You are a preternaturally... What? Pre... Turd. I don't know how to say that. Again, phonetics, not my best. Unfortunately, the book was so fragile, you... Uh, reading it causes it to crumble dust. Oh, what, what does that mean? I want to know. I want to know. Tell me... Tell me what this is. Um... Okay, is it a, like a perk? No. Is it, uh, one of these? No. I'm so confused. I feel like this is a really good thing for us. Oh, Master Cookery! Supernaturally good cook. Okay, your cooking skills boiled over. Uh, I didn't know that we could cook. What does this mean? I want to know. Okay, uh, sure. Whatever. What about you? This is probably it right now. Unfortunately, all, you don't have any bean iron or any all-purpose beans, so there's not much you can accomplish with the arcane. What is all of this? What is it? Sparkling. You sense a deposit of bean iron. A bean iron nugget. This is a nugget of iron shot through with cosmic bean energy. I'm so confused. Uh, for some bean iron cookware. You can also play all your skills and toes you have on hand. You can make something out of some bean iron. Your mind reaches into the bean iron to see what shapes it conceals. A weapon, an offhand, a lapel. Plus seven spell damage. <gasps> Give me a badge. Give me your belt. All right, bean iron. A masterwork. Okay, so I have to upgrade this immediately. This is the future. Bean iron badge. This used to say sheriff on it. But most of the word has been rubbed out, so now it says shift instead. This item goes in your lapel. Wait, was this the... I turn things that I have in my inventory into cooler versions of themselves? Oh my goodness. Oh, we just got powerful, y'all. A revolting soul for the... Oh, no! Could I have made something with both? Cook something. Oh, hold on, hold on. You guys had all-purpose beans. Cook thinking beans. Okay, so this is, this is a... Uh, Cook a, wait, cook something simple, cook amazing beans, cook supply. Okay, so now... Wait, 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 hold on. I'm so confused, cook something simple, miss a calorie. Okay, cook, don't cook anything. Need the oven. We have to upgrade this as soon as possible. This is us making our own gear. Oh, super awesome, amazing gear. I have to be finding mines, I have to be searching through mines. Mines are the new place that I go. But let's go to Hellstorm Ranch. Let's figure this out. What are we going to type? Okay, alright. You're a gunshot, and a bullet pings off the rock near your feet. You turn around to see the culprit and the skeleton a few yards away with a buffalo skull instead of a regular skull. Uh, fight him. Ooh, couldn't outfox him. Oh, you're a jerk. Why? Why? Uh, let's bead and armor this. Wait, what's this? The old bean. This will not end your turn. Create super powerful mind bean magic. Oh my god, you can just buff so hard at the very beginning. Look at that. And then you just destroy him. Oh my god. Yes, and then can you shoot? Ooh, okay, hold on. Build this thing here. See, she can. I didn't do the bean shield because she could do the shield. Right? So, there. And then he's gonna try and shoot me. Nope. Yeah, beat him up, bean golem thing. Can I, like, eat his soul? See, that doesn't seem to get the buff, right? But we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Wiggle my arms at him, a little dance party. Bam. And then shoot him in the face. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Oh, so it seems like the fights are getting harder. Uh, this goes into your lapel. No, we got an awesome lapel. No need for that. I'm, it sucks that the, um, 
Oh, here we go. Search the needle. Search the haystack. Get a needle. Needle in the haystack. Yeah! Must have been a real barn burner here. Oh, that's... What? <laughs> I'm staring into the void! It's a portal to hell. You hear ominous mooings. Oh my god. So that's straight up just a portal to hell? Only part of the shell that didn't burn down. Grab a lucky horseshoe. What does it do? This item goes in your offhand for more pistol damage. Yeah, that's not something that we need. What about you? Attract the attention of at least one infernal cow. Oh! Oh, wow. Okay, no. Stop uh, being chilled. This guy only has 64. How much health is it? 101. Yeah, we gotta buff, like, everything. We gotta become maximum beam, beam magic guy. The enemies are getting so difficult. Yeah, I can only do 57 damage to this guy right off the bat. Screw you, weird hell cow. Shoot him for 35. I'll survive this next one. Oh, that's fine. Bean golem's awesome. Beat him up. Yeah, that's right. We need more speed. We can't keep taking a hit like that. My goodness. Uh, okay, hold on. No, we're not gonna ring any more of that. We, we can't keep taking hits like that. Where's my speed? Yeah, plus speed. Okay, we need more gumption. Oh, yeah, more gumption. That's crazy. So, like, this game actually becomes really difficult. Uh, let's wander around here, see if we can't find something. Uh, soup stock load. Stop and smell the soup. Alrighty, so we found a new cave, and maybe we got some more beans, and that would be awesome. What's up with this? What's up with this? How about you, dig through it? Re unrefined meat ore. Ah, uh, can we get some more bean iron? These lockies have been picked over. Not really, they had awesome stuff. What is this? A toolbox, but requires lockpicking too. Um, don't I have the lockpicking book I haven't even read yet? Yeah! Oh, no, this is safe. Safe cracker. Okay. Oh, I should have read that. Those are always funny. I'm kind of, like, in a hurry today to get stuff done because I actually don't have a whole lot of time. Lockpicking expertise. 400! Okay, this has got to be pretty cool. I don't know what that is, but that's got to be pretty cool. Wait, a what? It's a pile pool of boiling soup. Okay... What? Alright, whatever. A knapsack. Hold on. Cultist mask. Plus six mystically! Oh we're gonna lose the super the super duper turnip crown. That's one more AP because we played in it. But that six it's double the mystic mysticality, and this is all we use. So we'll use the cultist mask. Hopefully that doesn't have any negative impacts or whatever. Uh this elevator is inoperative. There's a diary into the hello. This mine is the worst. It sucks so bad here. I've been here in the lousy mines. This one really make, takes a cake. Everything smells like soup. The walls are slick with it. I swear I can I feel like getting my pores. And I went to a doctor for blood test. Probably tell me my blood type is tomato bisque. Ha! Ah! We finally managed to get deep enough to hear the master. But it turns out the dang soup table is higher than we thought. The master? We're spending 90% of our time bailing stuff and only 10% of digging. I've got noodles in my boots. I hear this so much. Now the damn elevator's busted. It would always be, uh, making a rattling noise, and the guys on shift couldn't sleep. It finally stopped, but it stopped because the elevator itself stopped. I had to spend the whole day scrounging to find a replacement 157, 59, and 23 pound compression spring. Okay. Boss says we're giving up here and heading into a real deep mine they found up northwest. It's a shame that we wasted all this work, but hot damn will be good to get away from the soup. Got the springs installed proper, like with the strongest behind this. Wait, with the strong. This is probably important. With the strongest behind the shortest bolt, and so on. But there's no time to wrench everything down. Got a pack. Not like the elevator matters much, anyways, anymore. Okay. What's this? Elevator is inoperative. Okay. The sign says 3,200 in uh, pounds, and some gauge which currently reads zero. Looks like you're gonna need a wrench. Okay, I don't have a wrench. But it's important for me to know that this is here. Where do I find more bean iron? Is this something that, like, it's, is this a rarity? Is this, like, a... Just a handful of stuff? There's gotta be more ways to get bean iron. That that skill is awesome. But anyways, this is kind of good that we didn't find any... Uh, didn't stick around too long. More exploring to do! So, uh, we definitely... <clears throat> We ran into a goblin chef. You can tell by a chef by the hat and their big fork. Well, I guess either they're a chef or they're recently eaten a chef. Oh. Oh, hey. Hello, a human. Hey. Hello, a goblin. Looking for tuna. Seeing it. Tuna. This being the desert. No tuna here for miles. What are you saying? Tuna local delicacy. Talk to it. Tuna. You meaning a fish swimming thing? 
Crazy human, a tuna isn't swimming. This is this a desert. Where it to swimming? Yeah, that's my point. A tuna is round and green with red knobs. Pokey spines have a cactus. A ca a cactus? So got cactus like prickly pear or something? Yes, duh. Oh, so much! I gotta fight them. Dang, I didn't hope to fight tuna juice. This was a mistake! Okay, but he's magic, so my mysticality will help me. So I go here, and then I do the old theme. And then I do this guy. Wow, he's super strong. More magics. All of the magics everywhere. Cast my bean. I do. He's so strong. How am I gonna do this? 15 on fire. Tuna juice. Holy crap. Beat him up. Oh, he's not. he doesn't have too much muscle. Coming in clutch, that bean golem. We'll be alright. But Susie, wow. Susie just got taken out. Alright, whatever. You got an item of tuna fork. Plus six mysticality. Yes, please. Of course we're gonna go ahead and grab some of that action. I love doing the wandering and everything like that. Finding out... Oh, no, that's not it. There we go. And then weapons. And then the tuna fork. What do I have right now? Plus four spell damage? Nah, we want the tuna fork. Get that actual stat increase. So that's awesome. Uh, boop. And then I guess we will... I don't know. We'll go down south. We'll search around down here. I feel like Hellstorm Ranch, kind of an important spot. Off on the side of the desert trail, a skeleton is sitting in a shady, rocky ridge. Looks like some poor traveler must have succumbed to the heat. As you move to investigate, it appears the skeleton is holding a book. And you get close enough, and you see it's a copy of Longfellow's translation of Dante's The Divine Comedy. You notice the skeleton is, in fact, reading it and turning the pages, making little notes in the margins. Excuse me, you are in my light. Ah, talking skeleton. Sigh. Uh, sorry, you took me by surprise. Ask him about his book. The Divine Comedy, that's about heaven and hell. Uh, and so, I don't know, am I right? Mm-hmm. Is it accurate? I'm making corrections. Hmm. Keep talking. You know, most skeletons they see sort of hiss and attack at me because you won't leave them alone while they're reading. I see this because of them being rabid my less automatons. You might find out how rabid I can be if you don't stop bugging me. Okay, keep talking. Seriously, though, how do you talk without lungs? I don't know. How do you talk without a brain? You're a dick! But I'm also kind of being a dick. I'll try something else. I uh, guess I'll fight him for his book. It might be like a cool thing. Wait, what's up? Oh, that wasn't even anything. You don't even know what you're talking about. I have a standard setup right here. Watch this. We do bean stuff, and then we do some stuff here, and then we do a little bit of thing here, and then we do bean Hadouken. Don't eat. Get out. Get out my face. I am the most mystical. And then, obviously, she's just gonna shoot in the face. Excellent work. Stop doing weird eye magic at me. You got nothing. Boom. Dunskis. Yeah, what up? Ring of smart thinking. Six mysticality. We're starting to... That was a good choice. That was a good choice on our part. Let's go ahead over here. Go to the ring. Ring of smart thinking. Oh, what was the goblin engagement? Be? Oh, man. No, we just need the stat mysticality. We, we, we need a really high base mysticality stat. I want to explore a couple more places. Um, oh, hey, yes. Trade and Betty person, Sally, or whoever you are. Do, 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 do. That's pretty much it. You don't have anything that I need. Hmm. Sorry about that. Sorry to waste your time. Let's wander from you, though. Now go further south. Try to find something else. Yep, Reboot Hill. I'm good with it. Check it out now. Wow, that was not even remotely the direction I thought we were. We're gonna wander around this section next episode a little bit. Do a lot of cool stuff. Reboot Hill. Don't worry, it's just paint. Okay. It's a graveyard. I expect to be fighting a lot of skeletons. And my new cultist mask. I just realized I'm wearing a cultist mask. Whatever. There's nothing over here? What? No. It's gotta be some kind of secret. They wouldn't add that whole area over there otherwise. You're a ghost. Um. Wait, what? Why is old Jed Marmot? This time the bar ate him. A marmot skin cap? Oh, we don't need that. We have our cultist mask. But I can see someone like a pistol build being really powerful. What about you? Gone to the big pie eating contest in the sky. All right, what's up? Uh, tripe pie. That's disgusting. It's been in the ground for how long? Whoa! Looks like the whole gang's buried here. I don't know who they are, but let's wait in. The final fight of the episode. Here we go. Don't shoot me. Oh, this was a mistake. Oh, this was a mistake. You with your wiggly weird... Oh, that... <sighs> Ending another... Uh, you get so angry about losing the fight, you pass out. 
You wake up next morning in your bed. Susie must have carried you back here after you got knocked out. You're a little sore, but nothing worse for wear. You're pretty hungry, though, and sober. Let's mosey. Wow! We got obliterated. I might stick around and do some off-camera-ing for this, to be honest with you. It's a little bit... This is a bit intense. Like, um... Wow. I'm not... I'm clearly not ready for that new area. I'm just gonna have to do some farming. And obviously, you guys don't want to see that. I'm just gonna go attack the same stuff over and over again. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave that thumbs up and let me know. Sorry that there was no editing in this, but again, we have Warhammer 2 coming out tomorrow, and I needed to focus. We have stuff to do prepping for the new live streaming and episode. So, I will see you all in the next episode of West of Loathing.